Hello, this is Chris, back again with another video. Welcome to Handy Tech. Today we're going to talk about vlogging setups, uh, particularly my setup. Uh, I have accumulated a lot of stuff over the years, um, thinking that I was going to vlog a lot more, but I ended up using it more for work. Um, I'm an online ESL teacher. Um, now I'm getting into the tech world, but I've always been in the tech world, but now I'm doubling down in, in getting a degree in technology and uh, because certificates were just not enough for me. I want to I want to change my career and um, uh, basically I want to test the hardware that I have. Uh, I also want to test the software as well. So we'll be talking about the software I, I, I will be using to um, basically put video clips together and and um, you know, making my videos. It's not uh, Adobe Premiere. Again, I'm on a budget. <laughs> uh, some things I spent too much money on because they're still crappy and some are cheap, but they work quite well. Um, as far as computer setups, I have a budget gaming PCs that can game at 1080p. As many of my monitors or televisions uh, are 1080p. And, um, but I do have cameras that can shoot in 4k and, uh, that's my plan when we move into the other house is to, uh, make another rig and have a 4k, uh, television and a 4k monitor that I use. Um, yeah. And then I also want to get my, my kids involved in, in vlogging too, if they're interested, they're very, um, technological too. They must have got it through the blood, right? So computers, I mean, everybody's going to have a different computer, but pretty much it's uh, fairly easy to, um, you know, put your uh, videos on the computer and then render it and make a, and make a video uh, of your, you know, that you've edited. And uh, we're going to talk about software. Like I, I think I said, uh, I'm kind of just winging this, right? Um, software that I will be using is Cyberlink uh, Media Suite. I think, uh, yeah, it, it's stated back. They want me to upgrade, but I think it's the 14th version. Uh, but it's still solid. I can mess with the audio, or um, it has Photo Director and Audio Director. I'm just reading it on the screen right now. Um, what else? Uh, something new that I have is Doodly and uh, I believe Toonly. So I'm going to try to incorporate those in my videos. Um, I have on occasion used them for uh, my teaching because I teach ESL English um, online primarily, um, especially after COVID. And I'm going to use that for vlogging too. Now, on purpose, uh, I have made this video uh, pretty dark. So we're going to talk about lighting setups. So let's get started on that. Sorry, I thought I was getting a package because that's another part of my blogging setup that I'll talk about in a second. Um, yeah, so that's one light. And with this light, it's pretty cool. Um, you can change the colors. so. Let's see, this is on max brightness now, and it's on the yellow color, and now it's blue. Now it's a little bit more white. I guess the other one was yellow. Here, yeah, this one's yellow, okay? Now I have another light that I have above my computer. Mm, I just dropped something. Sorry, I dropped my microphone. That's what I'm going to talk about next. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. Please stand. Stand for me. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hopefully, the microphone is still working. It is. I can, I can tell. So, uh, I don't have this background, right? Uh, this is my son's room that, you know, we share this room because... Uh, I need a little nook, I need a little office, and I need a way that it, you know, 
it'll be quiet uh, most days. If I'm in the living room, it's going to be loud and, you know, people are going to walk by and stuff. So I have a green screen. So let's check that out. Ta-da! So this is kind of a little mini green screen that I've started out as. Okay, it's pretty good. You know, it's fairly wrinkle-free. I mean, you know, you're not going to really tell. And I have my uh, webcam zoomed in, so I haven't told you which webcam I'm using, um, but we'll get to that uh, in a second. But um, now you want to utilize, uh, you know, programs like Zoom or um, ManyCam. Uh, I think there's UCAM as well, uh, but I prefer ManyCam because I could also stream with it, which is kind of like an OBS uh, studios. And anyway, I'm going to try to do that on Twitch one of these days. But for, for now, um, this is pretty good. So with ManyCam, uh, let me see if I can do this on the fly here. I can change to a wonderful uh, and beautiful uh, beach, right? I can also, uh, I mean, you could take your own pictures and put them as your background as well. Uh, I can have a doctor's office, which is kind of faded out a little bit. Um, okay, let's see. You know, there's, there's lots of cool things. All right, living room. Oh, this is, this is styling. Okay, uh, waterfall, right? So having a green screen um, and the right light is really important. And that's kind of where uh, I set myself apart with uh, other ESL teachers. Uh, but some of them are doing quite well. And right now, uh, since China has kind of cut uh, a lot of classes, uh, a lot of Americans, British, whoever, uh, from teaching there, um, you know, I mostly teach Italian students and, and you know, others around the country uh, while I'm studying. But, you know, this can help you in business as well. So you can set yourself apart from other uh, business partners. I mean, you're going to be the cool guy in the room and they're going to want to talk to you. They're going to want to, you know, engage with you more. Okay. So lighting, uh, check. I've got a green screen. I even have another green screen. Let me take, check. Um, that's even bigger. All right. So I'm going to just back up here. And this is the, the newer one. And this thing is huge. Okay. Much bigger than that. So if you need that, you can have it. This can also be uh, mounted to the wall, but it's a real pain uh, to put it back in this thing. Uh, I had to watch a few videos and just like, uh, sometimes I could do it, sometimes I couldn't. So this one is much easier and that's what we're gonna utilize today. But I may use that for another uh, video, that green screen, but it's it's uh, it's hefty. So, and uh, it has green and then blue. So I think in some cases you can use the, the blue screen, flip it around if you want. I may test it out in a future video. So, but as you can see here with this, the limitations are that you have to be pretty much uh, pretty close to the camera. With that, you can put it on a wall and maybe you can move around a little bit. So this, like this, and uh, Zoom also has um, great virtual backgrounds where sometimes you don't even need a green screen if you have the right lighting. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I invested in a webcam long ago uh, where it was supposed to like um, it had two lenses on it and it basically could take the background around you and yeah you wouldn't need a green screen but it, it was really gimmicky and it didn't work out for uh, most of my computers right so I ended up just going with a good Logitech webcam I can shoot in 1080p 60. I think it even shoots in 4K. Uh, it's a Logitech uh, stream cam. Um, I think I paid around 199 for it, uh, but it's uh, better than my C922, 
webcam that shoots at 1080p but at 30 frames per second and it was getting kind of long in the tooth so I'm going to be using that for my 3d printer and yeah and do uh, you know hyperlapses and or whatever you call them uh, for future videos okay now I'm testing different microphones uh, so the one that fell over in the beginning of the video is the cheap ass, you know, fourteen ninety nine trust um, microphone, and it even had like the um, the little diffuser out in front to deflect the sound, but that broke off. But I plan on three D printing something and gluing it back on. Right um, now, I have another um, uh, mic, and I paid I don't know a hundred something bucks for it it's a blue uh, raspberry blue camera and it looks and feels like good quality but it I it just sounds staticky I've had it for a while and I just couldn't use it because it was like you know it was like good quality but then staticky and uh, so I'm gonna show you that now alright so now I'm using that and I ha I'm in a good distance away from it it's a USB uh, microphone, so I, I don't know if it's better or worse. I would think worse than the actual, you know, 3.5 millimeter plug. Um, I don't, you know, I'm still learning uh, about sound and, you know, uh, different connections and things. And um, I know USB-C is like really, um, you know, the, the, the standard when it comes to, uh, you know, uh, broadcasting in 4K, charging your uh, computer at the same time. And, you know, that's where we're all going. So kind of, you know, using a micro USB uh, cable, I don't know if that's that good. But you, you tell me. So this is uh, the blue um, Raspberry camera, or not, sorry, microphone. And um, I've fiddled with the little knobs a little bit, and I th thought this was the best editing so far. You know, it's not at max, it's just in the middle. Everything's in the middle. So um, I guess I will watch this video afterwards and, um, and see how the audio is. Okay, so now that we've talked about uh, green screens, lighting, microphones, um, now portable cameras, right? Where you can uh, go for a walk about and um, not worry that the video is too shaky, uh, things like that. Well, for me, the Osmo Pocket is the, the best choice. I've tried different uh, gimbals for my phone. Um, you know, while, you know, I wasn't really vlogging with them. I have tested it out a few times, uh, with, with, with certain videos that I was going to upload, but I never ended up uploading them because it was just kind of gimmicky. Um, and I wasn't really used to it when I, when I got those, uh, gimbals for the phone, uh, I really liked them, but, uh, they are, you know, um pretty big and they 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 <laughs> don't fit in your pocket um and then your camera uh yes it shoots in 4k and everything but uh you tend to get phone calls and things and then that messes everything up so if you get a phone call it would be nice to have something small that you can continue to you know take your shot of your kid scoring the scoring the goal you know and, and and tell them hey I'll call you back you know something like that but if you're filming and then you have to like uh -uh, and then oh you ended up st stopping the video uh, then that's a big bummer um, yeah so I've uh, been trying to vlog with that and take videos more often with that uh, I'm still getting used to it I do have a lot of connections to like figure out how I'm gonna do it um, I wouldn't use it as an action cam uh, I've tried putting it um, on my bike, right, while I'm going to work, um, and, but it was really shaky. Mm. 
and it was on the handle of my bikes. So I wonder if I put it on my chest, you know, there's like one of those chest strap um, holders for the, for, for the Osmo pocket on your helmet too. Uh, but you know, uh, I think that's more of a handheld device. Uh, that's where it's, you know, uh, bread and butter is in my opinion. Um, it's really hard to not use GoPro and I have a GoPro hero eight, I believe. And we all know that GoPro is awesome. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I've, you know, used the GoPro, uh, quite a bit, especially when I'm out in the water, um, on my, uh, stand up, uh, paddle boards, things like that. Uh, I, I do want to try to wear it while I'm surfing, but I have to wait until next summer because you can't really surf in Italy. But anyway, um, okay. Uh, oh, I, I, um, <laughs> I've also used the the Osmo Pocket in the water as well. It has a nice case for it and a setting. And yeah, I mean, to check out lake fish. And uh, we also went to uh, uh, Liguria, to the Ligurian Sea. And, you know, there was some cool fish in there too. And it, and it worked out okay. But I put it in the case. And sometimes I forgot to press, you know, uh, or... Uh, put it in the right setting or whatever. But again, you know, just uh, little mistakes there that we learn from. Uh, what else? Now, the camera that's in your pocket that's always with you is the best camera. You know, that's what I hear all the time. Um, and the camera zooms on the camera are getting much better. Um, you know, some phones can do 10 times zoom and the quality is like, wow pretty good um, I'm gonna try to improve it even further by getting some lenses for my phone I've ordered them and I'm still waiting um, the phone I'm using is the Galaxy Note 10 plus uh, and I got the case for it it's at a discount and uh, I got the not wide eating wide angle lens I got the telephoto lens or tele lens and the macro lens Okay, so I can't wait to, to use that and vlog with those things as well. Um, and uh, the reason why I haven't upgraded to the Note 20 or even the S22 Ultra, since I, you know, everybody knows me, I'm a, I'm a Note freak. Uh, it's just too much money, too much money. And I don't really see the, the benefit at the moment because my... Note 10 Plus uh, has uh, a camera app that will 3D model uh, objects uh, really well, quite well, good enough for me, and where I could 3D print them later. So I know there's you know mesh and other uh, applications that you can use with all phones, but having a dedicated app for 3D modeling is pretty neat burrito um and yeah the battery life uh the pen i mean i haven't even utilized all the features on it so i'm i'm a big believer in that of utilizing all the features and and once you hit your limit okay maybe it's time to upgrade it or maybe it's degrading or something like that where you really need to upgrade um yeah, so that being said, I want another device, which I've ordered, uh, that zooms very well. I want something uh, like at least 60 zoom, 60 optical zoom. So I've been looking at different cameras uh, for that. I've looked at some DSLR cameras. They cost a lot of money. I could go back to my Canon uh, Rebel that I used to have, I could rebuy that. Um, uh, but you know, that was stolen from me from, you know, a while ago, I was able to take some great photos with that. But, um, you know, it was six megapixel or maybe 10 megapixel. Um, but you know, uh, back in the day, right? Uh, they took some great black and white photos. My great-grandfather was a photographer at the age of like 10 because he was the only one that could 
you know, take photographs. He was just really good with technology uh, back then. And uh, so it's in the genes. <laughs> anyway, um, so I, I wanted something for around 300 bucks, okay? Um, I looked at some mirrorless cameras that I used to have, like the Samsung NX2000, which I sold to some guy in Israel uh, back in the day. Um, oh, I think somebody's here. Just a second. Anyway, uh, I forgot my virtual background, and then plus somebody arrived. Anyway, um, so the camera that I got was a Panasonic Lumix uh, FZ80 or FZ82. Um, I think they're one in the same. Um, but anyway, it has 60, uh, 60 times zoom. Um, but it could go to 100, I guess, or 120 with digital zoom. But that doesn't interest me too much. I mean, I'll see how it is. Um, it shoots in 4K. Uh, and it has a lot uh, of features that I'm going to learn about. Now, I also looked at the limitations of, of this camera. And uh, they're fixable. They're fixable. So the microphone. There's a way... Even though it doesn't have the 3.5 millimeter uh, jack, there is a way to fix that. And when I get it today, hopefully today, I can uh, show you. Um, now, but that's when it would be like on a tripod and I have like a, like a setup. If I'm out on the go, I'm not going to be able to have that external microphone. Now, I could probably get like a Rode microphone that clips in and then use my phone or something. And you know, do the clap thing, um, and and I'll try that. But if I'm just going to use the microphone that's on the camera, there's a way to make it better. That involves glue and foam. So uh, I've seen a few people do that, and it definitely improves the quality. But you know, most of the time I'm going to, um, you know be on a tripod or on a gimbal so that's the next thing uh, I thought you know it's kind of shaky sometimes well if I have it on a gimbal where I'm also able to put it on a uh, on a tripod as well and have that sort of setup I think that will um, alleviate a lot of those uh, problems um, yeah and again in my opinion you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, right? You know, the, these people are saying, oh man, the, the greens are so much better on this camera versus that camera. Well, yeah, but everybody sees colors a little bit differently. And I'm like, okay, that's good. That's good. They're both good. One's a little bit darker, one's a little bit lighter. But you're saying the one that's lighter is better. And I'm like, okay, well, but it's shady, right? It's in the shade, right? Uh, so... Anyway, uh, I don't think when you go to an art gallery and you see a bunch of, you know, fo um, photos on the on the wall, you're going to be like, hmm, that person used a Canon or that person used uh, a Nikon or whatever. So, yeah, um, I looked at the Panasonic shots and I was amazed. And I'm not going to have to clunk around a bunch of uh, lenses. It's going to be all good, baby. So when that comes, we'll take a look at it. Okay, I got it. So it, it arrived in the mail like like literally an hour after the last uh, clip and uh, super stoked. Um, I got this on eBay. Again, this is the Panasonic Lumix uh, FZ80. But they also call it the FZ82 sometimes. Um, I'm still playing with it. Here's a few shots. Um, uh, I'm pretty impressed with it right now. I, I need to mess with the with the settings and everything. Um, I do plan to improve the the microphone. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't windy today. It does have a wind uh, uh, suppression. Um, but I have seen, I've seen and heard videos using, uh, 
this microphone and it was even with that on uh that noise suppression turned on it wasn't that good but the fix was pretty good and so i was impressed with that i also plan to um utilize this hdmi port um if i need to use this camera to to vlog in any way um as like a webcam or something like that um there's a way to use the hdmi port with an adapter and uh, i have it but i have to play with it because <laughs> usually i was recording uh videos from one screen to the other i do plan on posting a video on how to do that if you need to record a video uh from like a laptop screen to another laptop screen something like that or utilize it as a second monitor um anyway um i'm really stoked about that um it does have a nice flash on it uh where i could possibly use like a diffuser using this flash uh i do want to get another flash to use for the hot shoe um that i could put on here or i can use it by hand and that would be pretty cool uh, if I could do that so I can use the flash from this and another one and it would be synchronized and you're able to do that and I want to uh, learn how to do that from this guy I'm gonna I don't know his name uh, but I'll put a um, a link in the description but he wrote about uh, he wrote a book about flash photography and how to fill it in you know with, um, macro shots with light and it's pretty straightforward um, but I want to you know do other stuff <laughs> so yeah that's mostly for my passion for photography uh, I may use this on occasion for for vlogging if I want to zoom in and or you know uh, take a macro shot of, of what I'm doing I'll use it and incorporate it into into the video but um, yeah I need to learn more about it and I will definitely do a review of this for you know, um, for 2022, I will do zoom shots. I guess that's a popular thing to do with uh, zoom cameras. So I want to definitely take one of the moon, do a zoom moon shot, moon zoom shot. Um, anyway, I'm sorry for the sound. Uh, my kids are going crazy. It's about time to put them in the, in the shower. Um, and then what I also like is that it has a viewfinder here. Um, I've never, I have used that before with older cameras, but I haven't used it in quite some time because everything has a touch screen. Um, like I said, there's going to be other devices that I use for this channel, uh, for vlogging. Um, but today we went over green screen, light setup, uh, you know, uh, I do also have another ring light for my phones and cameras and for the Osmo Pocket. I may talk about that in another uh, uh, another video, um, and then talked about a few of the cameras that I have. So anyway, I need to get going. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, I didn't even record. No, I did record. Good. <laughs> All right. Bye.